Olivia sells cookies. Ooh, my favorite. It was time for breakfast, but Olivia, Olivia was too busy to sit down. Has anyone seen my lucky tights? Olivia asked. Don't look at me. I don't even know what tights are, said Ian. Olivia explained that her lucky tights were stretchy and had red and white stripes on them. Kind of like the ones she's wearing. Hmm, let me check. Maybe I put them on by accident, replied Olivia's dad, making her mom <laughs> laugh. Honey, you have a drawer full of tights, mother said. Um, but they're not lucky tights, El Olivia explained. They won't help me run faster or jump higher. Or, Olivia stopped talking when she saw William crawling into the kitchen, pulling his baby blanket along with him. There they are, said Olivia. They're stuck on William's blanket. How cute. Later at school, it was to time for time for show and tell. Olivia was ready to go first, of course. And these, she said, are my lucky tights. They help me do amazing things. What do you mean? Mr. Hoggenmuller asked. Olivia imagined that she was a star performer in the circus, presenting Olivia and her lucky tights said the announcer. Olivia and her lucky tights rolled a unicycle and juggled some. Th at the same time, well, Olivia bowed to the crowd as they clapped. Let's see. Oh, she's very fun. Next, it was Francine's turn to do a show and tell. This is the trophy that I won last year for selling the most cookies of anyone at my Young Pioneers troop, Francine said. I got my picture in the paper, too. I'm the best cookie seller ever. Well, this year, I'm going to sell the most cookies, Olivia announced. Good luck with that, Olivia, replied Fancine. I made the best cookie seller win. They're always competing with each other. The next day, Olivia told her dad that she was going to try to become the best cookie seller ever. So how many boxes do you want to buy, she asked. Um, I like your can-do spirit, Olivia finally replied. I'll buy two boxes. Well, Olivia was surprised. Two boxes? That's it? Honey, we don't need a lot of cookies in the house, Father said. Besides, in order to be a good salesperson, you've got to go out there and sell, and not just to your family. That's true. Julian offered to help sell some cookies. Thanks, Julian, Olivia said as they walked to the first house. We'll have to work extra hard to sell cookies today because my lucky tights are missing again. Hmm. But I think we can still do it. They knocked on Miss Cassidy's door. Hello, Olivia and Julian, Miss Cassidy said. What can I do for you? Well, Miss Casey, aloud, answered Olivia, we're here to sell you some cookies. But Miss Casey had already bought cookies from Francine. Olivia and Julian thanked her and headed to the next house. Cassie. Cassie. The family next door had already bought cookies from Francine, too. But Olivia and Julian didn't give up. They knocked on the door of the next house. Of course, that neighbor had also bought some cookies. Let me guess. Francine, Olivia asked. Well, meanwhile, workers were jackhammering the pavement outside. And a loud noise was making William cry. Maybe we should find somewhere else quieter to sell some cookies. How about the grocery store, Olivia asked. Hmm. When they arrived at the grocery store, Olivia was help hopeful. We're going to sell so many cookies, she said to Julian. I wonder what Francine will think about my brilliant idea. Why don't you ask her, said Julian, pointing to Francine. Sure enough. Francine was selling cookies at the grocery store, too. Guess what, Olivia? I'm almost sold out, she said with a smile. You'll have a lot of catching up to do if you want to be the best cookie seller ever. Hmm. Well, Olivia and her father returned home. Olivia was feeling kind of discouraged. I'm sorry I didn't sell more cookies today. I'm sorry you didn't sell more cookies today, honey. Boy, being a salesperson isn't as easy as I thought it would be, Olivia said. Well, then Olivia's mom walked in, holding William and trying to comfort him. William's favorite blanket shock shrank in the wash, 
He won't stop crying, said Mother. So I thought maybe he would like El this little teddy bear. Wah, cried William, throwing the bear behind the couch. <laughs> I guess he doesn't like the bear. Olivia went to pick up the little bear and saw something else behind the couch. It was her lucky tights. And William saw those lucky tights, too. He immediately stopped crying. Here, William, Olivia said, giving her lucky tights to her baby brother. I think you need these more than I do. Olivia, that is a very nice thing to give your lucky tights to William, her mother said. You are the best big sister ever. That is kind of cute. William cooed and giggled, and there was peace and quiet in the house until the jackhammering began again outside. Those workers been out there all day, said Mother. You're right, said Olivia. And then she had a wonderful idea. I bet you they're really hungry. So Olivia ran outside and sold the rest of her cookies to the construction workers. I don't think I saw I sold the most cookies, but at least I sold all mine. That's right, and even... I did it without my lucky tights. Nice work, Olivia, her dad said. That night at bedtime, Olivia handed a stack of books to her mom. Usually, I wear my lucky tights. You read four books to me at bedtime, she explained. Mother and father agreed, since the lucky tights were the only thing that kept William from crying. My lucky tights were even luckier than I thought, Olivia whispered. But it had been a long day. Soon she was fast asleep. Thank you for reading with me. Thank you.